Hey guys, Kev here, and I have some stuff to unbox for you. I have one, two, three packages, and this. So let's get into it. This is from my boy Stevie, Wonder Woman. And I believe this is just some stickers. Well, not just, but it's stickers. Uh, Stevie says, thanks for all the support. Cool. Thanks, Stevie. And we have some Stevie Wonder Woman stickers. I believe these are made by Tri-State River Creations. Tri-State Valley River Creations, something like that. Sorry, can't remember the long ass name. Um, yep, they're the same as mine. They are a bit thin compared to um, if you get them like from Sticker Mule or something, but that's to be expected. They're making these at home. I think they're working on it, though. Um, thicker material would be cool. You know, actually cut out circles would be cool. Um, that's all stuff, you know, they're going to probably learn if they keep trying to do this as a business, but it's, um, for the price, it's awesome. So totally love these. These will go in my sticker spot. I'll put this up here so uh, Stevie can hang out with us for the rest of the unboxings. So real quick, I don't know what I want to do first. Let's open this one first. This is um, another mini Tempest, I believe. So uh, check it out. Unboxing knife is this mini Beluga from Petrified Fish. This was loaned in to me by Backpack B. And I got to say, guys, I love this knife. So um, I he also sent me the full size, which I hate. I just I'm not the biggest fan of the full size. I guess I don't hate it, but it's just really big and blocky, and I don't understand all the love for it. But the Mini, on the other hand, is exceptional. Uh, really digging it. Just way more uh, friendly to the pocket, to the hand um, in general for me. Large glove size hand. It just fits better. Carries well. The only thing I'd like is for the flipper tab to be larger, kind of like the full size. I wish it kind of had that full size flipper tab on it. Um, this is 14C, which is awesome. So um, definitely one I may try to get at some point. I actually really like this G Mascus. I mean, for 45, 50 bucks, uh, this thing is pretty much a home run, guys. So anyway, I'll do a full review on this. I didn't post the unboxing. I think I just there's a bunch of stuff in it, and I just felt like it was a shitty unboxing, so I scrapped that one. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. I also ordered a um, a what you call it a Malibu from GP Knives. Nope. Okay. So they dropped the Mini Tempest. It's a cool sticker from GP Knives. Check them out. Uh, I've ordered a, a Slim Mini from them, and then I've ordered. This, and then the other day I ordered a Malibu as well because they dropped the textured Malibu. You guys know I am in love with my Mini Tempest drop point here. Uh, turns out this one actually has a little bit of an issue. I talked about this in a video before, but you can see the detent nub. Uh, I got to get the right angle for you to see it. But um, you can see the nub in there, and it's you're not supposed to. It's supposed to seat all the way in. I'm looking at it right now. Um, so I'm going to probably send this to Brian Nadeau, um, so he can fix it. He said it's an easy fix, so I'm not worried about it, but, um, I saw this one when they dropped them. GP Knives was the only retailer not to, uh, blow their load the same day as everybody else. Um, so when they dropped them, I got pretty excited and I went for another drop point and this one I went with the plain tie with the blue fat carbon dark matter fat carbon uh, some people have said they wish there was more blue in it uh this side has a good chunk of blue right there this side yeah i mean you can see it for sure um centering on this guy is dead on which is awesome Ooh, we got a little mark here can i get that off yes i can good okay um this is the drop point, right? It looks like a Bowie for some reason. Nope, drop point. Um, 
So, yeah, let's see. This one, action is pretty freaking good on this one. And I can see the nubbin on this one, too. So, that's interesting. Well, let's see. I see the sides. Do I see the nub is the question. On the, oh, no, I'm looking up at the top at something. So, hang on. Yeah, it looks totally... Do I know? Yeah, the nub is fully seated on this one. Oh, yeah, that's totally different. Yep. Okay. Um, that is a... Listen to this. Hear that snap? This one... Just not as much. Let me feel... I mean, it feels pretty similar. Yeah, you can tell on the clothes that it doesn't seat all the way because it, like, bounces. You hear that? Uh, or see it? This one sucks it in. And I can feel it. It has that Brian Nadeau sort of click-clack on the opening. This one doesn't have it, really. Um, and I totally see the nub there. And on this one... I don't. I see the frame lock. So on this one right there, let's try it. Let's try to get you an angle here. Sorry. This one, you see, let's see if I can get light in there too. Sorry, I'm going to try to get this to work there. So you see that bar? It's like a metal right there. You can see that? That's the piece of the insert and the nub is on there and it goes into the blade right on this one you don't see the same thing because you're actually seeing the nub um yeah it's just so hard to show you is the problem i can see it it's there you see that that's the nub right Okay, sorry. Uh, there was an emergency alert. My phone went nuts. Um, anyway, it's hard to show you, but on this one, there's no nub showing. On this one, there is. So that's basically the bottom line. Uh, this one, yeah, they feel a sim. The detent feels similar. So I think once we get that nub situated, it's gonna be perfect. This one, uh, and this one already feels really good. I've seen a few people um, putting skiffs in these um i have not really seen the need for it you can see this one um basically is dropping shut after i loctited it this one is just as smooth it's going to be just as droppy so yeah i'm really glad i picked up a second one because um these are just badass and i really like both versions and I think it's cool to have both. Do I want to have a Bowie? Maybe, but the drop point's more useful to me. Um, and, I, you know, the Bowie looks badass, but I had way easier of a time flicking the drop point. Um, even though I really enjoy the front flip on this knife. So, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that feels really good. Um... But I do think, oh, it's a completely different feel. Holy cow, that tells you right there. This just comes right out. This one, you hear that pop? And it's basically the difference between a traditional detent and his detent. It's a real crisp break, which gives you a nice pop, uh, which is what he's known for, right? So I'll get this squared away with him. I'm glad that I got this so I could feel the difference, which is awesome. Um, so I'm going to shut up, and I'm going to move these two to the side, but uh, I will be doing a full review on these. I may do a disassembly at some point, but again, 
I don't, I haven't felt the need yet, um, to put like skiffs or anything in it. Uh, these bearings in here seem to be really good. It's just a matter of letting the knife break in is what I've noticed. So anyway, I'll probably be carrying this one today then, um, uh, after I break it, fuck, you know, I think we're good. Probably scratch something I haven't seen yet, but it's okay. Should we check the edge real quick? See how she cuts. Yep. Just as good as the other one. So that's good. All right. Moving on. Um, absolutely <laughs> love these knives. Uh, let me put this up here where I might be grabbing it in a second. Okay, so this one is from white mountain knives so that's what these last two are they're knives from uh white mountain knives i'm too lazy to put stickers over the uh label so that's why i'm doing everything all weird off the camera yep another petrified fish uh, it looks like white mountain knives might have new packaging too all right oh yeah holy cow guys snow squall and then all of a sudden after that emergency alert there is like a tornado of snow right now outside this is crazy uh, okay interesting never had that happen um so this is the zero Ooh, extra screws uh both of these knives you're about to see are loners from white mountain knives this is uh really cool that they include hardware um i have like four Four, this will be five loaners I have in from White Mountain at, at this moment. So I'll need to get these reviews done and get them back as soon as I can. Um, yeah, this is the Zero. So uh, we're done with GP. I don't know if I have a White Mountain knife sticker I can easily access. No, I need to get some. Petrified Fish 2021. Uh, that is really ugly i don't know why they did that that's a backspacer by the way it like stands proud of that scale but this scale goes up and over interesting kind of design there uh righty clip only doesn't look great yeah i don't know if you heard that but it really tore into my pants um so she said sorry i got all types of stuff going on with this phone like i'm getting phone calls Stuff that never happens when I record. This is the weirdest type of layout. It's so hard to see with the black. Because this is a liner lock. And it's titanium on this side, I assume. Oh, wait. Yeah, titanium on this side. Um, G10 on this side. And it's like not the same size. The backspace. It's just such a weird design. It's hard to tell you what I'm talking about. Hopefully you can see it. The color... I know that the mat is making it a little difficult to see all that black, but can you see that? You see how the titanium on this side, inset lock, then you have the G10 on this side, and then the backspacer starts right here. This is backspacer that meets with that titanium scale on this side. Super interesting. Um, that's cool and all, but now the question is, how'd they do on the detent? <laughs> they didn't. Uh, interesting blade shape for sure. It's got a uh, Finch Devil's Finger blade shape, I'd say, right? Kind of this crazy spear, spear point type deal. You have a Finch Choil, I mean, or Flipper Tab, so it's very Finchy here. Um, pretty comfortable in hand. It's a little weird, all these cuts and jigs and stuff you know what i mean um the lock bar is inter Ooh, okay good action there but man it is very accessible look at that that lock bar is just zinc really good action but the d10 i wish would be a little stronger maybe it'll break in as um you know it breaks in that was dumb that does seem to be happening lately where detents are getting better as you go. Left-handed, it's a little awkward because th this is all covering the lock bar, and I don't know, it's just a little bit different. Um, definitely fantastic action. I think these were around 100 bucks. 
um, titanium and uh, 154 cm steel. Very interesting knife, to be honest. Let me drop a little KPL on this sucker. Let's see if we can um, get that detent singing a little more. We have a detent ball? Yes, we do. It's back there. I don't know how well they oil their bearings. Looks like they have some oil in there. And then usually what I do is blow a little air in and then work the action a little. All right. I mean, it's definitely starting to drop shut. Try to get rid of any excess. You can see there, it's essentially drop shut. Um, it's just the detent is not perfect. Um, it's a little light. And... It's flipper only. You can see if I wanted to fail it. I could. But you know what? It's not that bad. I think most people are just going to flick it and be done with it. I'm the one who's hung up on it. And it's mostly because I want it to be satisfying when I flick. And this just doesn't have a clink, clink sort of satisfying clunk to it. But it seems to be breaking in pretty good. It's a little weird once you flick it. You kind of land right here on this flipper tab cutout area um and yeah you just can't get enough pressure to like crank one out if <laughs> that sounded so wrong sorry uh to rocket it out you just don't get enough pre uh, power behind it push button is pretty weak so yeah, all in all, I think it's an interesting knife. Uh, I'm glad now that I actually didn't buy this because I was thinking about just buying it because um, it's just not my style at all. I, I like the liner lock, of course, but that's kind of where it ends for me. The blade shape is pretty cool. Got a low tip, but it kind of goes into a clip point at the end. So you end up, you know, you have all this stretched out right here where I feel like they could have just done a drop point to here and then you'd be zip, but they wanted to get that extra you know, three, that extra, you know, 0. 0.2 inches or whatever here. Um, but definitely not a uh, bad knife here. This is a cool one. So I think a lot of you guys are going to like this. People who collect <laughs> knives basically in this 100 or less range, you're going to enjoy this one a lot, I think. So that's the Petrified Fish Zero. Then we have a big dog, okay? This is the big dog right here. Petrified fish cuts, too, by the way. The big dog. Cuts just fine. Pretty sure that voicemail I have that's sitting here, it's just, like, up on my screen annoying me, is the uh, weather alert. This is a Midgard's Messer, and this is called the Beowulf. This is an absolute tank of a knife. And, oh, uh, sorry, I'm getting a little crazy over here. All right, so this is a tank of a knife here, and uh, I forget who put this on my radar. I think it was Naf Sergeant who uh, told me about this, so... You guys know Midgards, they're out of Germany, uh, which is cool because I'm German, obviously. Uh, I was born there. Well, it's not obvious, but... Um, and this thing, I've handled a few of theirs, the Viking, the Mini Viking, the Bomber, and now this. And um, they have the other one I haven't handled yet, which is the uh, Thrun the Thunrear, I think it's called, is a 
fixed blade, and then they have the Valhalla, which is a, a weird, crazy folder that Kyle had. Um, this is locked, so I think they have a screw here that comes out. You can lock the blade closed or open. You have this crazy pattern on here. I don't know who would carry this. I mean, this thing weighs... This thing weighs a lot, guys. It is a slab right here. Um, most of their production folders have been made by concept, as far as I know. I don't know if this happens to be something different. I think it's like 340 bucks on White Mountain Knives right now. I'm not going to do anything with this. Cut, carry, anything. I might cut a piece of paper just to test the edge. Um, but this is going to go back to them and probably get sold. So um, obviously going to be really careful. I hear a rattle. I don't know. Let's open her up. There's some goosh on here. Okay. Oh, yeah. This does look to be a concept version. Not concept version, but concept OEM knife because it has the numbering. They made 250 of these. Man, I wonder how much these cost to make. Jesus. She dropped shut. Can you flick her? Cut my finger off. I'm worried about that. Ow. Right hand flick, maybe. Hey, you. Almost. Hey, you. Got it. Look at this thing, guys. It's a freaking beast. But yet, it's only like. I don't know. Here's the mini uh, Beluga. <laughs> it's not that big. I mean, the, the actual blade length, I mean. Here's the full-size Beluga. It's probably in that range. Three and a half inches. Yeah. It's the same size as the big Beluga. Full-size Beluga. Um, obviously, it's a lot fatter. But this is fat. I mean, so it's not even that much bigger. It, it, that tells you how ridiculously chunky this is. And I hate it. Um, sheesh. so then you can take this, put it in here and tighten it down. And now you have basically a fixed blade. I mean, I don't know how you're going to accidentally close this. I guess I could disengage the lock, but it can't go anywhere. So it is locked up now. And then you can unscrew it. Comes back out and then... Oh, that catches you right there. There you go. It's almost like they could have put a flipper tab up top here. Like, ching. <laughs> oh, there's nothing for it to go into. Look at that. This thing is crazy. It has a pocket clip, guys. Let's see if it works. It works. It fits. You have this much of the knife sticking out of your pocket though and you got a nice little skull crusher here if you're a uh a gargantuan yeah i don't know guys not for me i i can't even operate the thing one-handed like trying to open it oh, i guess if we get it down here slow roll it up is it locking up yep hey it's sharp oh Try it from out here. Yeah, I mean it's that's pretty damn sharp for a. I must grab that and threw it away. Um, for a massive knife like this, that's pretty sharp. Yeah, I got to give them credit. They always seem to do these really well, even though they're just not my style. Like, look at this grip. It actually is pretty comfortable in hand like this, though. Gotta say. Um, yeah, it's comfortable. It's obviously a flat grind, but it's a tall flat grind. Holy cow. Um, it is manageable. Like if you have XL hands, I think you'd be okay with this. And then if you have like two XL hands, you're probably fine. Let's try a pinky flick. Let's see what happens. Or a ring finger flick. Yeah, I just can't. I'm putting pressure on the lock bar. I think that's the problem. And then like right-handed. 
I don't know what's going on there. But crazy knife. Let's see how she drops. Uh oh, we got something in the action. See that? Something happened. Oh, never mind. I don't know what's going on there. You see that? Sometimes it drops like. And other times it's got something in the. I don't know. Weird. Oh, now it's stuck. What the hell is going on? There we go. I don't know. I think it's just a little too big for me. <laughs> so, yeah. There is the uh, Beowulf. Aha! The Beowulf from Midgard's Messer. Does it go in this way, too? No. It goes in the other way. Beowulf from Midgard's Messer. The Petrified Fish. Zero. Shout out to White Mountain Knives for both of these getting sent in. Um... If you guys want 10% off your orders and free shipping in the United States, you can use code LEFTY10 at checkout at White Mountain Knives. And then shout out to GP Knives and Brian Nadeau for the uh, Mini Tempest here. Uh, Sharp Eye Design Mini Tempest in the plain tie and blue CF looking sexy. So there's your unboxing, guys. Oh, and uh, Stevie Sticker. So shout out to Stevie as well. Thank you, brother. Much love. And uh, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments about all of these. Um, are you going to pick any of these up? I don't know. Uh, are you a giant? Do you have a beanstalk or anything? Because this uh, might be right up your alley. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.